Amazon is hiring. Welcome to Code Chef's April Cook-Off. The question in front of us is chocolate monger. We'll look at the analysis of the problem and don't forget to check out the algorithm playlist because we'll use greedy in this problem and a greedy algorithm we have explained in detail in this playlist. So let's begin with our video. Chocolate monger. There are n chocolates and you are given an array of n numbers where the ith number ai is the flavor type of ith chocolate. Sabrina wants to eat as many different types of chocolates as possible but she also has to save at least x number of chocolates for her little brother. So there are a few things given for us. One is n. n is the number of chocolates that we have, right? So n is the number of chocolates. Let me just say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let For this example, let n equals to 6, right? And you will be given an x. Now, what is x? x is the amount of chocolate that Sabrina has to save for her little brother. And each of these elements of ai would contain a chocolate type. What, what do I mean by a chocolate type? Suppose, say... I have a 10 and 10 represents a particular flavor of a chocolate. I can have another 10 also. I can have a 20 which represents a different uh, chocolate flavor. I can have a 30, I can have a 40, I can have 40 again. So I can have it in any format. All of these represents chocolate flavors. Now the question, what is the main question? The question here has asked us to maximize the number of distinct flavors that Sabrina can have. Distinct flavors. Remember, there are two tens, so they are not distinct. You'll have to maximize the distinct number of flavors. Also, you'll have to make sure that you save X. You save X number of chocolates. Now, they can be similar. So, you need to save X number of chocolates for your brother, right? Let's quickly deep dive into the input test cases. Now, this is important once again to understand what I just said. As the, as given, you have T number of test cases. Then you have N and X as your second line of input. N is the number of chocolates that you have and X is the number of chocolates that you got to save. We'll explain it with the help of example. Don't worry, just hold on. Then the second line uh, has n integers a1 through a n. So these are all my a1 through a n integers and they are the chocolate types. And you will just in the output console have to print the maximum number of distinct chocolates that Sabrina can eat, right? Okay. Now let us look at the analysis of the problem. Uh, now uh, one good thing to first look here is x and n. x and n is not greater than... 2 into 10 to the power 5 so it is well beyond uh, the bounds but you can cannot have an order of n square approach if remember this because uh, the operational value in one second is considered to be 10 power 8 so we can perform only 10 power 8 operations a second order of n square would lead to a 10 power 10 time complexity so it would just give you an TLE so don't uh, limit yourselves below n square limit yourselves to n log n uh, to such okay now let us discuss this sample unit test case very important suppose you are given a 2 and 1 now the number of elements are 2 and x is 1 and you that is the number you have to save and the array that you are given is 1 and 2 so like i said this 1 and 2 is just a flavor type 1 is type 1 flavor 2 is type 2 flavor all right now you are asked to save one the first thing in this approach should be that your x your x should be your priority first that i'll have to save that many number first so you can clearly see as n is greater than x this this is possible this is possible that we save x right fine the first step is clear that we know that we can save x the second step that you need to look for here is that can i uh, now the number of distinct number of chocolates that i have so you you are of course saving x but you'll have to find the number of distinct numbers the distinct number of flavors that you have so for that you just run through your loop and check that how many number of distinct numbers are there right so the number of distinct numbers are your max of flavor. 
that you can have it's a maximum limit i'm not telling that this is your answer so the number of distinct elements at max is your upper limit for for your answer that is not your answer but your upper limit for your answer now you will have to take x into consideration there and find what is actually the maximum number of flavors that sebrina is actually tasting getting my point so maximum distinct numbers in your array can only give you a upper limit of your answer but that is not the correct solution the correct solution has to do something with the x i hope i could analyze the problem a bit for you and you open your mind up through this and uh, provide yourself a greater answer to this thank you